Thanatos is his own worst enemy. Throughout his publishing history, Thanos has developed a number of rivalries with super-powered characters like Adam Warlock and Drax the Destroyer, but the reality is that no one is a true match for the Mad Titan. Thanos' greatest enemy is and always has been himself. Time and time again, Thanos has found himself on the brink of ultimate victory only to lose out because of his own self-doubt. It is this same doubt that inspires Thanos' never-ending quest for ultimate power and his mission to win the attention of death, and it prevents him from taking over the universe on multiple occasions. It is almost as if, as Warlock describes it, he knows he is not worthy of it. His original name is Dione. Sui-san never got the chance to name her son, largely due to the infanticidal madness that engulfed her the moment he is born. Thanos is named by his father, Allers. However, Thanos' mother intended on naming him something entirely different. It was revealed she told her son his would-be moniker shortly before he murdered her. Thanos' original name was Dione, a nice name, but perhaps not one fitting for a genocidal space conqueror. He's been part of some truly silly comics. He's been part of some truly silly comics. Thanos has a deadly relationship with his actual progeny. Thanos has a deadly relationship with his actual progeny. Thanos' reputation is fixed by a plot device involving clones. Thanos' reputation is fixed by a plot device involving clones. Thanos proceeds to absolutely wreck the remaining heroes after wiping away half the universe. After his Infinity Gauntlet opening act of killing half of the universe with a snap of his fingers, Thanos gets to work destroying the rest. When the remaining heroes of Marvel inevitably unite to make a counterattack on the Mad Titan, he defeats and brutally slaughters them with an ease that would be laughable if it weren't so horrific. Thanos chokes out the Hulk, rips out the Vision's insides, and turns Thor into glass before shattering him. Thanos suffocates Cyclops, turns Wolverine's bones to rubber, and snaps Captain America's neck with a dismissive backhand. In other words, things don't go as planned for the Avengers and friends. Luckily, someone comes out of left field to save the day and reverse the considerable casualty list. Thanos kills half of the Marvel Universe with a snap of his fingers. Thanos kills half of the Marvel Universe with a snap of his fingers. His brother is one of the creepiest Avengers. His brother is one of the creepiest Avengers. Thanos' family connections are more complicated than the MCU implies. Thanos' family connections are more complicated than the MCU implies. Thanos spends his formative years as a space pirate. Thanos spends his formative years as a space pirate. He's had a lifelong attraction to the physical embodiment of death. Ask any veteran Marvel fan what Thanos' definitive trait is and the response may be surprising it's the major crush he has on death. Amazingly, that's not a figurative statement, as Thanos is infatuated with the physical embodiment of death. This isn't some high-minded and poetic passion. Either Thanos is head over heels in love with death, and his attempts to warm her perpetually cold shoulder can sometimes border on the pathetic. To make matters even more embarrassing for the Mad Titan, Death herself generally prefers the coital company of Deadpool. 
His mother tries to kill him seconds after his birth. His mother tries to kill him seconds after his birth. Thanos is from Titan, a moon of Saturn that is home to a beautiful race of near gods. Thanos is from Titan, a moon of Saturn that is home to a beautiful race of near gods. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.